Super Idol de Charo, Domain me to ten by each hunger the Hello guys, I have ogre shit smeared across my face. Honestly, you could just say it's Ubisoft shit. They just smeared it across my face. There you go. There's your quadruple A game. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't feel like I, I forgot to take it off. It's been like uh, you're supposed to leave it on for like 10 minutes. I I kept this on for like two hours. I still haven't taken it off. Yeah, I don't feel like it. Witness a true woman in her true form. Witness me. Skull and bones. Yeah, so I was actually excited to play this game. Um... <laughs> Like years ago, and then I was like a pirate game. I'm like, oh yeah, pirate game, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you know, um, but 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 as you can see, yeah, it's not a, uh, it's not looking too good. Yeah, it's kind of uh, it's really bad. You can, we already knew it was gonna be bad. I I um, <laughs> I can't even find those articles from years ago. But there's been so many setbacks with this fucking game, man. Like it's absolutely crazy. This is not a surprise that it turned out like shit. Especially since they're calling themselves a, a quadruple A game. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Sure, pal. Sure. After multiple delays, the version of Skull and Bones that players got has lacked what it might eventually receive later on. All the sailing and customization options can't be fun. Everything else about the game is kind of monotonous. Not only do players have to spend hours grinding their way through extremely similar missions, but the game is also missing many pirate-like mechanics, clearly hand-to-hand -hand combat, and shipboarding. All of that makes for a pretty forgettable experience that desperately needs interesting content. Luckily, Ubisoft has plans for four seasons worth of content. Each promise some... Um, well, there's the problem right there. They have plans for it. That each pro <laughs> promises. Oh, we've been getting so many promises, man. Well, there, there's the problem right here. This is what modern day gaming has come to. You dish out slop, and then later on throughout the months, you know, going forward, you dish out some more slop. Because it's not, most of the time, it's not going to fix the problems. You know, cyberpunk was a rarity. I mean, my guy, like, we, we get an awards for a... A sh oh my gosh, it was so bad at launch. It was really just the bugs and shit and glitches and the ports. But now it's just wonderful. Like, I think it got an award at the Game Awards, bro. Like, crazy. But that's like a, a, a one in like a hundred years type of situation. Yeah, you can't do that here, Skull and Bones. It happened to Diablo. Well, no, Diablo, that was the full game. That I mean, that everything that was supposed to be in there was in there. But uh, it, it was still a shit game, and so a lot of people left. They're like, oh, no, we're going to make it better. Um, in the next season, it's like, no, you already lost. You, you lost, basically, everybody. I'm already gone. Pal, I, I was gone on the first week. <laughs> shit. I bought my shit off of Gamefly. I didn't even buy it. I got it because uh, I was on the Gamefly one month's trial. So I pretty much got it for free. I tried out Diablo. Um, thank God I did not pay for it. Don't ask why I use Gamefly. I mean, they, they, it was like a free offer or whatever. Honestly, we need to go back to using Gamefly. <laughs> That's actually crazy. I mean, this game has been in development for how long? I think it's at least been in like a, like a decade. And you got Black Flag. I'm not, I only played V Valaha. Valaha. Um, unfortunately, and it will um, unfortunately or fortunately be my last Assassin's Creed game I ever played. So I never played Black Flag, but everyone's saying to play Black Flag right now because it's just way better than this shit. Harvest Acacia. How the fuck is he cutting down the wood if he's on the fucking ship? What is happening? Oh, this is just like a... I mean, that's just like playing a mobile game. When you're not doing shit, you're just tapping it. Oh, that's so... Holy shit, man. So you can't, like, go out of your boat and, like, just, just chop down the tree? Wow. Amazing. Amazing. It's like three. So this is the first quadruple A game in the whole world. <laughs> this is the first one right here. Okay, so this is the combat. Yeah. 
and then hit him again. Well, he's winning on the on the on the the war of attrition That's here. I it? think he's actually going to be able to kill it. I feel like this game is probably like maybe twenty degrees off of being okay. <laughs> like I could see this being decent if you had like good ambience, good music, and you were doing it with a bunch of other people, and like the combat. Just like Sea of Thieves. God damn. When can we have a good pirate game, man? Like, holy shit. Like, I mean, Black Flag, I never played it, but yeah, it's good. But that's pretty much it. I guess Sea of Thieves is okay now, but like in the beginning, it was, it was pretty trash. Yeah, I got off that bitch after like a week. It's pretty boring. Interesting. It's good now, though. But. Oh, cutscene. Okay. And so, wait, why did that fuck? happen? <laughs> we're, we're, okay uh what let's was that see. for ubisoft ceo called it a quadruple a game don't know why ubisoft has the fittest golden bones lofty price tag that a quadruple a game but many who've played the recent beta aren't sold on it in a recent investors call ubisoft ceo vez golem was most challenged on the game's price by an analyst who argued that considering it appears to be going down the live service route with the battle passes and see yeah no i i mean just when i hear battle pass or live service i just my brain just cuts off immediately like i i distance myself back away six feet yeah we don't want that you don't want that you will see that skull and bones is a fully fledged game it's a very big game and we feel that people will really see how vast and complete that game is. It's a really full, triple, quadruple A game. <laughs> Not triple. It's quadruple A. Oh, uh, yes. So, so basically, you can't do basic mechanics of getting off the boat and, you know, cutting down the wood. You know, you just stay in a boat. You just, it's just clicking simulator. It's like, like those one-click games that I download in the app store that will deliver in a long run. But why not deliver now? We want it now. See, this is how you lose most of your base. I mean, it happened. I mean, I'm just naming shit off the top of my head. You know, Halo, um, Redfall is dead. Halo came back, but Redfall is, and uh, shit's gone. You know, it's just, it's just happening to so many games recently. I, I, I feel like they make it shit on purpose or they don't fully like put the game out on purpose. I mean, they kind of, they kind of do that sometimes for um for money and investing, especially if they're like a small uh, company, like with Larian Studios. They uh they started beta like two years ago, two three years ago for Baldur's Gate three. They I think they charge like I don't know how much, maybe like thirty bucks for uh, Act One of Baldur's Gate, so they get funding and then the community feedback and like tweak the game, and it helped. It helped the game. It, yeah, so that's why it became Game of the Year because they listen to the audience. But uh, Skull and Bones, uh, you're, you're calling it, you're still selling it for like 70 bucks. Um, and you're calling it a quadruple A. If you're calling it a quadruple A, you better deliver. <laughs> like it has to, it has to be game of the year. Because I've never heard of a fucking quadruple A game before. Have you? Yeah, you haven't. Because it doesn't exist. Honestly, most triple A developers this year, I mean... They don't even need, they don't deserve to be AAA games. They don't deserve to be AAA studios, bro. Like, for real. It's just embarrassing. Many are in agreement saying that while they enjoy the game and the price is too high, there is absolutely no way I'd pay $70 or $90 for this game. One player writes, I love this game, but the max I pay for any game is 40 to 50. Well, most games are like, I mean, you know, I'm just saying for AAA or like 60 minimum now. I mean, it was 60 overall until like two years ago with fucking um uh what's it called god of war if this wasn't in development hell and they didn't need to recoup development costs i could see this as a 30 to 40 dollar game or better yet free to play honestly and if they're going the live service route they might as well just not like charge a, a shit ton for it but i mean it's ubisoft bro like they don't fucking care there's a lot of free i mean like you know, you got Fortnite, you got Apex. I mean, there's successful live service games, you know, that are still running. Seven years later, yeah, Fortnite came out in 2017. 
here's the thing. Here's the difference between those games and Skull and Bone. They're good games. Skull and Bone is a bad game. Made. And it's, they're actually like complete games, even though they have like one mode too. Like, come on, well, Fortnite, it, it had saved the world at first, and Battle Royale got more popular, so, it's, yeah. But, I mean, it's really just one mode, Battle Royale. They got a ton of shit now because of the community, like, custom games and shit, but in the beginning, it was, like, one game. It was it was just the same thing over and over again, and it was fun, and it was good. Yeah, if it's fun, and it's good, it can work. You know, it can be the same shit over and over again, but still have people coming back. Uh, Skull and Bones, not like that, not from what I've seen. Yeah, I'm not... Hey, I'm not, I'm not playing Skull and Bones. I'm not paying for it. I'm sorry. I, I, I just see it as a waste of time, you know, games these days. I literally just downloaded Dragon Age Origins. I got everything. I got all the DLCs. And if I bought them separately, all the DLCs on Xbox, they're like, what, like $20 each? I, don't, I still don't know why they're like that on Xbox. They actually need to fix that shit. That's why I'm playing on my PC, most of my Dragon Age games. But anyways... Yeah, that shit would be over like 200 bucks for Dragon Age Origins, I don't know. Skull and Bones, this shit is 70 bucks and it's not worth my time. Dragon Age Origins Ultimate Edition, all of the DLCs, each DLC. I got it for, it's nine dollars. A game that came out in 2009, a full game, a real good game, you get all the DLCs. That were, that probably totaled up to 200 dollars back then. For nine dollars today, why would I waste my time on a quadruple A game? There is no point that that has bugs and that can't even you know like like program as even a, a triple A game. Holy shit! If we're gonna call something a, a quadruple A game, call it like Elden Ring. Uh, Elden Ring, God of War. Yeah, just just give it to anybody that won give it a year, I guess. Shit, I don't know. Not Skull and Bones. <laughs> Fuck. It, it, the, the way it feels with Skull and Bones, it's like calling Golub a quadruple A gamer. <laughs> That was 70 bucks too, holy fuck. Skull and Bones is a 2024 game positioned as a quadruple A, yet it does not even incorporate basic mechanics such as clothes getting wet in the water. Comparison, Assassin's Creed Black Flag released in 2013. Ooh, what the fuck was that? Yeah, and the water is like, I mean, it's just the wave of pixels coming at you. <laughs> Oh yeah, that looks way better. Yeah, that looks... That just... I, I, I just see fucking pixels, bro. Like, what? Well, it's probably harder on, like, you know, Twitter, but still. Crazy. What has modern gaming come to? Yes, I see the sheen in everything. You can swim to, like, it's actual swimming. And it just looks so... Oh my gosh, it looks so much better. Wow. Well, here's the thing. Oh, and there's like the little water droplets. I mean, I when it comes to shit like this, though, I really don't pay attention. I just pay attention if the game is good or not. You know, like story, combat, shit like that. When it comes to shit like this, I kind of really don't care if the you know, clothes are wet or not. That's literally my least, you know. Yeah. I don't even know if like other games are like that that I play. You know, back then. I don't know. I have no clue. But uh, yeah, I will say Assassin's Creed, it is crazy how a game 11 years ago can do this. And yet, you know, this is, I guess, triple A, triple A still back then. Now it's 11 years later and we have a quadruple A game. We can't get what clothes? Crazy. Imagine paying $70 for a pirate game published in 2024 where pirates can't swim. Can they like go underwater and shit though? Just wait for Sea of Thieves to come out on PlayStation. Yeah. Now, I just say play Sea of Thieves at this point. So, between Redfall, Starfield, Forspoken, um, what the fuck is this? I don't know. I forgot my brain not working, bro. It's like 2 a.m. Uh, and now Skull and Bones. Is it objectively a fact to say that the $70 price tag is absolutely not warranted? 
by the triple A and quadruple. I mean, they're the, they're, they're the first motherfuckers to say quadruple A. That that shit is still a myth. Yeah, maybe it'd probably be like something like Sword Art Online or some shit. I don't know. I mean, we already know that they just added ten bucks to the the sixty dollar shit just because they wanted more money. I mean, they don't. It, it wasn't needed at all. It really shouldn't be a thing. Yeah, it didn't even need it. I mean, they're blaming like COVID and inflation and you know, just. No, it's not. It's not a. It's crazy. Oh, and he forgot about Golem with 70 bucks. Holy fucking shit. Buy Black Flag. What is it, like $12 now on Steam? Y'all go buy that shit. Or pirate your own games. Yeah, be your own pirate, man. You don't gotta buy. You don't gotta get Skull and Bones for that. Fuck that. I mean, overall, I, I, I was thinking about trying it out, but I decided to play the Epstein game. Yeah, I decided to, to put my uh, put my money into something, uh, a, a real game, a true quadruple A game. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Hey, what do you guys think? You think it's worth the $70 price tag? You think Skull and Bones good? You like it? You know, I, I feel like it just doesn't deserve the price tag. I mean, let it be what it be, you know, just a boat simulator, essentially. With the added in cannons occasionally. <laughs> and um some some random onboarding animation is about it. Yeah, from what I've seen, that looks like a uh I wouldn't even spend forty bucks on it, bro. I mean shit. Honestly. A game like that, I mean I I, I think like I'm thinking of the graphics a little bit and shit. Uh, like 20 bucks i don't know but again i mean like it's basically i can probably find a good pirate game on my, my iphone for free let me go wipe this shit off my face and play some dragon age origins Fuck. Shot at a black man and took his shoes. Customized my AR like a Black Ops 2. Just scammed a white kid out of some Gorilla Glue. I don't want to fuck this bitch. She smell like poo-poo. 